Hey guys, in today's Hidden Blender feature video, we're going to be looking at one suggested by Dylan Barter uh, in the comments of the last video. So it's a really useful feature, and it's certainly one that I've seen people asking for in the past, so presumably quite a few people don't know it exists. And if you've been eyeing up Turbo Tools, then it's your last chance to get 25% off today at the Blender Market's summer sale. So back to today's feature, Hidden Collections. So we've got collections at the top right hand corner in the outliner that we can control what gets rendered and what's visible in the scene. But we've also got hidden collections. So if I choose the Taurus, which is in collection number three, if I press Shift G and choose collection, it'll automatically select everything that's in that collection. But what we can also do is make new collections that are going to be used just for selecting things. So if I choose the Taurus from collection three and Suzanne from collection one, I can then put them in a new hidden collection by pressing Ctrl G and I'll give the collection a name, my collection. And if we come into the object properties, we can now see we've got a new collection in here that doesn't appear in the outliner. So if I press Shift G this time, Shift G collection, we can choose the collection we want. But just bear in mind that you will only get a list of collections that the active object belongs to. So the cylinder, for example, belongs to one collection only, so you won't get a list of options to choose from. To get around that limitation, you can go to the Outliner's Blender file mode and open up the Collections dropdown. And then you can select all the objects in the collection just by clicking on it. And then you can even add and remove from the selection by using the Control key. So that's really handy. I think that's a brilliant feature. So thanks again to Dylan Barter. And if you know any Blender hidden features that you think people would like to know about, then make sure you comment down below and I'll try and make a video about that as well. So thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.